Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Study Cell. Today we will test a start capacitor by using four different method. In my previous video, I have shown how to test different type of AC and DC capacitor with and without using a multimeter. You can find the link in the description box. The start capacitor is used in single phase induction motor for starting purpose. Now if you find the motor is not starting or running at very low speed, then you must check the start capacitor. To test the capacitor, first you have to short these two terminal to discharge it. Next you have to inspect for any leakage or any dome shape in the capacitor. If you find no such problem, then you can adopt any of the following method for testing the capacitor. First you have to see the rating of the capacitor. Here you can see this is 30 microfarad capacitor and the value can deviate it up to 5% and the capacitor can be charged up to 440 volt AC 50 Hz is the frequency and there is a temperature rating which is 85 degree centigrade now coming to first method if you don't have multimeter or any small DC source for testing this capacitor then you should adopt this method but this method is not recommended without proper safety precaution because if you don't follow this method properly you may get severe electric shock in this method i have to charge the capacitor by connecting it across the supply for a fraction of second next i have to discharge the capacitor by shorting this to terminal if it charge and discharge accordingly then this capacitor should be okay for that I will require two connecting wires to connect the capacitor across the supply. Now I have connect two wires with the capacitor. Now I will charge the capacitor by connecting two wires across the supply for a fraction of second. Now I have charged the capacitor. Now I have to discharge it by shorting these two wire. If I listen a sound of a spark or if I see a spark then I have to say that it's charging and discharging. So the capacitor is okay. Let me short these two terminal. Now we have listened the sound of spark. So this capacitor is okay. Again I am showing you, first I am charging the capacitor by connecting it across the supply for a fraction of second. Next I am shorting these two terminal to see whether it is discharged or not. So this capacitor is ok in this method. So this is simple but one thing please remember, connect the capacitor across the supply for a fraction of second not more than that and don't touch any metallic parts during the testing in the next method i will charge this capacitor by using a dc source and to discharge it i will use a small dc load to see whether the capacitor is charging or discharging for that i will require a small dc source it may use 12 volt battery to charge the capacitor if you have now you can see I am charging it with a DC source after charging I have to connect a DC load like here I am using a buzzer I have to connect the positive terminal to the terminal of the capacitor which is the positively charged now I am connecting the buzzer across. I have listened the sound of a buzzer for a certain time. So this capacitor is charging and discharging. So this must be ok. In the previous two method you cannot determine the capacitance value accurately. But you can see whether the capacitor is charging and discharging. Now coming to third method. In this method I require a multimeter. To test the capacitor, you can use any type of multimeter having ohmic scale. Now before testing the capacitor, I have to short to terminal to discharge it. After that, I have to select any higher ohmic range. I am selecting 200 kilo ohm range. 
and a red lead should be in voltage and ohm port and black lead should be in common port now i have to turn on the multimeter and i am connecting the two leads of the multimeter across the capacitor in the screen you will see that the value is increasing which means the capacitor is charging slowly after certain time you will observe that it is showing over limit now it is showing over limit so i have to alter the leads of the multimeter after altering the leads you will see the value in the negative scale and it decreasing it means the capacitor is discharging right now so it's showing the negative polarity and after certain time again it is increasing in the positive scale so it means that capacitor is charging in the reverse polarity thus you can check the capacitor whether it is charging and discharging with the help of a multimeter in the fourth method you must have a multimeter that have a capacitance scale and you have to connect the capacitor with the multimeter to measure its capacitance so before testing i have to connect the two terminal to discharge the capacitor next i have to select the capacitance scale of the multimeter then i have to connect the capacitor with the multimeter to test its capacitance now in the screen you can see the value is showing over limit because with the help of this multimeter i can measure up to 20 microfarad but the capacitance value of this capacitor is 30 microfarad so it's showing over limit in the screen so thus you can measure the capacitance of a capacitor accurately and this is the most recommended and accurate method for testing the capacitor these are the four method by which you can test a start capacitor whether it is charging and discharging and by the help of last method you can measure the capacitance accurately if you find this video helpful please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos thank you